Hi readers, welcome back to Storytime with Tristan. Did you know that Memorial Day is coming up? It's always observed on the last Monday in May. Many people like to spend Memorial Weekend getting together with friends and family. It's also often thought of as the official start to summer. But do you know why we really observe Memorial Day? Memorial Day is a federal holiday in the United States for mourning the men and women who have died while serving in the United States Armed Forces. Today, I want to read to you a story that can help us understand what it means to honor those who have given their lives for our freedom. The Wall by Eve Bunting and illustrated by Ronald Himmler. This is the wall, my grandfather's wall. On it are the names of those killed in a war long ago. Where is Grandpa's name? I ask. We have to find it, Dad says. He and I have come a long way for this, and we walk slowly searching. The wall is black and shiny as a mirror. In it, I can see Dad and me. I can see the bare trees behind us and the dark flying clouds. A man in a wheelchair stares at the names. He doesn't have legs. I'm looking, and he sees me looking and smiles. Hi, son. Hi. His hat is a soft, squashed green, and there are medals on it. His pant legs are folded back, and his shirt is a soldier's shirt. A woman old as my grandma is hugging a man, old as my grandpa would be. They are both crying. Shh, he whispers. Shh. Flowers and other things have been laid against the wall. There are little flags and an old teddy bear and letters weighted with stones so they won't blow away. Someone has left a rose with a droopy head. Have you found Grandpa yet? I ask. No, Dad says. There's so many names. They are listed under the years when they were killed. I found 1967. That's when my grandpa died. Dad runs his fingers along the rows of print, and I do too. The letters march side by side like rows of soldiers. They're nice and even. It's better printing than I could do. The wall is warm. Dad is searching and searching. Albert A. Jensen, Charles Bronowski, George Munez, he mutters. His fingers stop moving. Here he is. My grandpa, I ask? Dad nods. Your grandpa. His voice blurs. My dad. He was just my age when he was killed. Dad's rubbing the name, rubbing and rubbing, as if he wants to wipe it away. Maybe he just wants to remember the way it feels. He lifts me so I can touch it too. We've brought paper. Dad puts it over the letters and rubs on it with a pencil so the paper goes dark and the letters show up white. You've got parts of other guys' names on there too, I tell him. Dad looks at the paper. Your grandpa won't mind. They were probably friends of his anyway, I say. Dad nods. Maybe so. A man and a boy walk past. Can we go to the river now, grandpa? The boy asks. Yes. The man takes the boy's hand. But button your jacket, it's cold. My dad stands very still with his head bent. A bunch of big girls in school uniforms come down the path. Their teacher is with them. They are all carrying more of those little flags. Is this wall for the dead soldiers, Mrs. Gerber? One of them asks in a loud voice. The names are the names of the dead, but the wall is for all of us, the teacher says. They make a lot of noise and ask a lot of questions, and all the time Dad just stands there with his head bowed, and I stand beside him. The girls stick their flags in the dirt in front of the wall and leave. Then it's quiet again. Dad folds the paper that has Grandpa's name on it, and he puts it in his wallet. He slides out a picture of me, one of the yucky ones they took in school. Mom made me wear a tie. Dad puts the picture on the grass below Grandpa's name. It blows away. I get it and I put it back and pile some little stones on top. My face smiles up at me from under the stones. Grandpa won't know who I am, I tell Dad. I think he will, Dad says. I move closer to him. It's sad here. He puts his hand on my shoulder. I know. But it's a place of honor. 
I'm proud that your grandfather's name is on this wall. I am too. I am. But I'd rather have my grandpa here, taking me to the river, telling me to button my jacket because it's cold. I'd rather have him here. At the end of this story, the author left us a note to give us more information about the wall. The Vietnam Veterans Memorial honors the men and women of the armed forces of the United States who served in the Vietnam War. On it are listed the names of those who gave their lives and those missing in action. The memorial is located in Washington, D.C. On the long black wall are more than 58,000 names. The End I hope you enjoyed today's story and that it helped you understand a little bit more about Memorial Day. I encourage you to take some time over your Memorial Day celebrations to remember and honor the men and women who paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. Thanks for joining me on Storytime with Tristan. Follow me on Instagram or Facebook at Sisters Book Corner. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on all my latest videos. I'll see you next time for another reading adventure.